Hi y'all. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best smoked Wahoo dip. Hi y'all. Don here with Southern Backyard Cooking. This video will be showcasing how to make a great tasting smoked Wahoo dip with a little bit of a southern flair. If you like my video, please make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and this will allow you to follow my site and get notifications for new posts, and it's all for free. All right, guys, today the first step is to shred the fish. So I've got my smoked Wahoo. I'm gonna put it into my Ninja, and I am going to go over here and shred it. Okay, our next step is to add our ingredients. I've got a poblano pepper. I'm going to dice it up. I use the poblano instead of a jalapeno. My wife says I like to use too many jalapenos, but the poblano will give it a good flavor, but it's not nearly as hot. I've got some cilantro, about a quarter of a cup, and I've got some celery. So the first thing on the celery is we want to string the celery. And it's just pulling these little strings off. In addition to the celery and the poblano, most people would like to put some fresh onion in here. Uh, the only reason I don't is my wife is very allergic to raw onions, so I don't use any. All right, so I've got that. Now what I have here is a great little chopper. And... I've got it set, you've got two different type of blades going here, one that's about an eighth of an inch and one that's about a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to chop these celery into about an inch long pieces. And I'm going to place them right along. And then just mash it down. The nice thing about this is it has a uh, little pan underneath it that catches everything. Alright, and then the same thing, I'm going to do my poblano. I'm actually using about a quarter of that poblano, and I'm going to cut it into fours. Now, in this poblano, I've already seeded it. And I've already taken the membrane out. And you can see I've got the poblano now and I've got the celery. And I'm just going to add it right to my fish. All right, now I have my cilantro. Move this out of the way so y'all can see this. And I, on my cilantro, I don't like to use the stems. So I have picked out everything and make sure there's no stems in it. And we're just going to chop it up. If you have a real good kitchen knife, a bigger kitchen knife uh, than what I do, it makes it real easy. But just back and forth. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Like I almost did there. <laughs> My wife tells me I'm a, you know, a, what do they call it? A bull in a china cabinet? Because I'm constantly cutting myself. And she thinks I rush everything way, way, way too much. So I've got my cilantro kind of cut, kind of cut up. And I'm going to add that right in there. All right, I'm going to do one tablespoon of capers. I'm going to do a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. 
believe it's going to be about a half a teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of Tabasco sauce, about three, four shakes, and same thing with Worcestershire sauce. Then I'll put some lemon zest. And the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to squeeze some lemon juice. Now lemon juice I want about one ounce. So generally I'm going to squeeze the whole lemon juice in there. Make sure you don't get any of the seeds. And just kind of mix that up. Alright, now in a separate bowl I'm going to mix uh, four ounces of cream cheese, Philadelphia or whatever cream cheese you got. And about a half a cup of mayonnaise. I like to use blue plate. Hellman's is also a good brand, but whichever cup, whichever type you like, that's fine. And I'm going to mix this, and, and of course, my green, my cream cheese, you want to make sure it's nice and soft, so it's been out at room temperature a while. But I'm going to mix this all until it's mixed well, and it's nice and creamy. So I'm mashing down on it as I mix it because I want it all mixed in very well together alright so I've got it all mixed up now I'm going to add it right to my fish mixture move that right over here in front of me and what we want to do once we get all this in there is mix it all together and the next step we're going to do is we're going to refrigerate it because we want all these flavors to soak in to each other so that the whole thing has got a good flavor to it. All the flavors will come out the longer it soaks and sits. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover it, put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. If you can, if you can do it in a far enough advanced where you can put it in there overnight that really allows all the flavors to come out now one of the things you notice I haven't added is any salt and pepper uh, generally this doesn't need any but you can add a little bit to taste depends on your preference all right y'all been a couple hours since we put our smoked Wahoo dip into the refrigerator uh, I'm going to sample it out my wife likes to use these uh, sun chips uh, I per personally prefer a club cracker. So I'm just going to put some on my club cracker. You see it's got a real good texture to it. And you can see some of the vegetables. Man, that's got a good flavor. The fish doesn't overpower it. None of the ingredients I put in it overpower it just you gotta taste it to believe it it's really good I hope you liked my video if you did please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell that'll give you notifications if any new videos coming out till next time guys